I believe that my film narrative conforms to the thriller genre, uh, as it has elements of mystery, murder and drama, and this is seen across other films in the genre, such as Seven and Zodiac, and possibly Prisoners. Um, I think sharing these elements with recognisable films makes my film quite desirable to my target audience. My characters are first introduced from the um, the first scene, uh, the interview in the attic, where Mills is presented as this nervous, on-edge character, um, whereas Taylor is very laid-back and relaxed. And I think that this is this is successful, as the audience can identify who is the protagonist and antagonist very easily, simply by their body language and the signals they give off. The mise-en-scene that I used in my film I think is quite successful, um, especially in the costume area, where... I've presented Mills in a very relatable outfit of jeans and a t-shirt, uh, making it very relatable for the audience, so they feel a little bit more uncomfortable maybe. Um, and this is heavily juxtaposed with the dominant, more powerful costume of a suit and tie uh, that Ryan Taylor is wearing. And this is something associated in society with power and dominance, and it's just a clear power difference between the two. I used a variety of camera shots across my um, my trailer, but I believe that the um, match on action shots I used at the start of the film were the most successful due to them being very good in representing the body language that uh, James Mills has given off and it clearly identifies for the audience that he is very on edge and very nervous and they instantly get this idea of, um, you know, why is, he, why is he so nervous, what has he done, creating these enigma codes that, you know, later might make a big part in the film. These Enigma codes were created um, through the use of the reoccurring image of the dead body. Uh, the audience starts to wonder who she is and what sort of role she plays in the film, as well as obviously the, um, obviously the confused body language that both characters are showing in the first scene. Uh, and these can be seen as symbolic of, you know, possibly a good versus evil clash or a, um, the powerful versus the less powerful in society, as well as the constant um, narrative questions being asked of, James Mills and what his um, motives were for killing his wife and, you know, why is he so obsessed with this idea of his daughter? It's just constantly keeping the audience in the dark um, and wanting more from this teaser trailer. The typography I used in the um, titles, I think, were quite successful in conforming to the idea of a thriller genre uh, because I believe that they look quite handwritten and you could argue that this is um, from the perspective of James Mills, possibly giving the audience an insight into his mind, what he's thinking... Um, but also just making it more realistic and relatable to the audience rather than this fancy over-the-top font, I think, makes it quite uh, gripping and intense for the audience. And it was in keeping with the um, the film as the idea of an afterimage is constantly seeing the same thing, can't get it out of your head, um, and I think James Mills is a great way of presenting him, you know, you know this idea, uh, the idea of sort of madness and spiralling, this spiralling character who's not really got a good grip on himself. And I think the um, the titles really convey that through the use of the smoke being lost in the dark, being, you know, being put behind something that you're not really sure about. And it just all ties in with this idea of a constant repetition of this one character's perspective. And I think the handwritten typography style to the font uh, really sort of makes it quite unique and personal to the character that the main focus of the film is on. Um, and obviously keeping the audience engaged at the same time because these Enigma codes start coming up as to who's written it, are they significant to the storyline, and you know, just constantly wanting to know more is the idea of a thriller, and I think that this really helps conform to that.